What's up guys, Kings Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of playthrough. Now, my first few raids went so, so good that I decided to make a quick compilation of how those few raids went. I mean, I was just amazed. Enjoy. <laughs> So, after having such fun at the beginning of my first few raids, uh, yeah, I had to buy a new PC after that. But anyways, it was time for me to pursue some more quests and since I was almost level 17, I wanted to push it as fast as possible so that I could finally get those quests from Punisher. So the first raid I went in was Customs. I spawned on the east side of the map, checked the stash and then I heard some firing from the other spawn area, so from the extraction area. So I came here to check out what's going on. And as you can see, this cab just magically disappeared. Perfect shots. Perfect. Thank lord I had a suppressor so this dude had absolutely no clue where the shots were coming from. And that scab was most probably killed from his side, so that gave me a good indication that he might be pushing out. So I managed to kill him, grab a few shitty items from that scav, grab some of his items that he had, and it was time to push forwards towards the extract. And just as I was going to extract, I saw another scav. So I gave him an easy one tap in the back of the head, just like I love it, like a rat. I hit him with a rat attack. So I had to quickly organize my inventory just in case he had a decent weapon or something, I could pick it up. And so I went to check what he had. Hello, I like money. And boy oh boy, he had a lab's keycard. So that's why you should always check their inventory. Sometimes they'll have it and it's worth a lot of money. So after killing that scav, I went for the extract. The extract was at the gate, so I extracted success successfully. I gained some experience, but still I was not level 17, so it was still time to push for another raid. So after grabbing some gear again, organizing my inventory quickly, yeah, unfortunately the raid afterwards didn't go well. But nevertheless, I grabbed another Vepper Hunter, grabbed some gear and went again into customs. This time I spawned in the far corner and went immediately for the jackets. And just as I was going through these jackets, somebody was approaching the same area. Nope. I failed to shoot him immediately. So now it was cat and mouse game. Nope. Still, didn't kill him. Now he knew where I am. So always change positions, left to right, left to right, never repeat the same angle. Oh, no, 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 no. 
So yeah, I overextended my stay to peak that angle and I was punished for it. And nosy scavs had to come in as well, but thank the god I managed to kill him somehow. I finally killed him, but the scavs were pushing on because they heard shooting, so they came to examine what's going on. So that was already a second scab that came here. I quickly repacked the mag again. Because I knew other players might have been pushing as well. And another scab. So yeah, it was like third scab that I saw in like what? Two minutes? Three minutes? But, luckily, I managed to get rid of them, started looting their bodies, got everything I could, but the problem was, I didn't have surgery kit and my stomach was blacked out, which only meant one thing. I was losing hydration and energy fast. So after that quick fight, I went to the garage area, checked the duffel bag with medicines, nothing there. Killed another scav. Went for his loot, checked checked another medical spawn, but nothing good was there. And then, just as I was crossing the road here... Why you bully me? <laughs> you fucking bitch, why you bully me? Everyone asking. Yeah. Squad of two, approaching the other side of the map. So I had to outplay them or I would be dead. And they were trying to pincer me. So that was one dude dead, so I immediately changed the position so the teammate couldn't know where I was exactly. I was trying to wait him out to see where he's gonna push, I was listening closely where he is. You can hear him going aim down sights, but I wasn't sure where he's gonna push, left or right. So I decided to push right side. And I realized he was pushing from the left. So I got a quick thought of using this container to shoot him when he approaches. And thank god he didn't look through it. So after managing to eliminate another squad, I had to loot him up quickly and move out quickly because I was really low on energy and hydration and I was losing it even faster. So quickly healed up what I could after the raid. I didn't have much painkillers and that propidol injection actually helped a lot towards the end of the raids when I ran out of all my painkillers. And they had a lot of juice and stuff so that was good. So I started pushing quickly towards the extract, I didn't want to loot anything anymore, and luckily I managed to get out. It was a tight round, and that dude from the beginning just... He just made my day immediately in that raid. With blacking out my stomach, I knew there was no chance I would stay too long in this raid, so... Yeah, my aim was good with the squad, I outplayed them, and I managed to get out. So the next raid we got in, I spawned the nearest spawn on this side to the dorms, but I decided to push immediately towards the other side of the shore. And I thought I heard someone. Indeed, I did hear, hear someone. Surprise, motherfucker! If only my aim was better. But this dude was completely unaware of my existence. And unluckily he was low level. Probably just starting off. So I picked all his gear and... Moved towards the other spawns inside of the map. So I went to the big red area. 
only to find one scav roaming there. But another one was also aggroed immediately after I killed the first one. So I got the other one as well. So after killing those two scavs, I looted everything I could. I went back for the jackets to check if there's anything good. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. And there was something good. There was a scav looking good. Somewhere on the middle of that road, starting to push me. So I had to qu he quickly heal up. And now I was looking for him. So again, he saw me, but I couldn't see him. But I guess he was somewhere underneath that trailer. And yes, he was. So I pushed backwards just in case there were some players. So I could have a bigger angle of view from distance. So I wouldn't get pinched immediately. And of course there was another scav. So I got rid of him as well. Then I moved into the yard once again. And there was again another scav. So that was a lot of scav kills at the beginning. So I checked the big red just in case there's some good loot upstairs. boy there it was a flash drive so that was a lucky find after that I went across the shore and I was pushing towards the extract when this scav stumbled upon me once again After killing him, I didn't even want to loot him because he was so in the open. It was getting dark, so it was time just to push for the extract. So after extracting once again successfully, I quickly organized my inventory and went to see what map am I going to play now on. Unfortunately, some of the footage was lost since I forgot to press record, so... I pretty much went into two more raids, got the level 17, took the quest from Prapor, and it was finally time to do the quests um, in Punisher line. So I went immediately to Shoreline using a suppressed weapon where I had to kill 15 scavs with AKM type weapon. So that was the first scav, a sniper scav. I just checked if it did count, since the first raid I went for nothing. Here was another scav, just waiting to get picked off. So that was two scavs already. And just as I thought it was all done, somebody came in the same area where I just killed the sniper scav and started fighting with scavs because there's usually two more down at the bottom of that building so I decide to go for a quick flank and to use that hill in front of me as a sniping position but then I spotted the guy so I push slowly towards him using this bush as a cover so I break my silhouette but he was no longer in the same position and there he was again, somewhere inside fighting with the scavs. And this was my cue. As soon as he starts fighting with those scavs, I know he's focused on that fight, he won't be looking in this direction, so I pushed immediately for the hill, I went on top to wait him out to see where he's gonna come out, because I know if he came, he probably came from the other side of the map, and he's going to be pushing into my direction. So after changing the position to this bush, because I had better visibility from this side than I had from the previous one, all I had to do was just wait. Because I knew he would loot those calves, and eventually he would push in one direction out. 
and there he was pushing out and one tap did it I waited a couple of seconds to see if he had a teammate but it seemed it was all clear unfortunately this raid the raid timer was reduced due to some updates but so I had to push out quick but this dude had quite a good gear he had a good rig had some items for me so I picked up everything I could and after that I went straight for the extract so I went directly above uh, uh, over the hill and used the extract on the other side of the map so all in all it was a successful second raid on the map since first time I went with the wrong gun even though it is an AKM type of a weapon for some reason the system doesn't count it as an AKM so I had to change the gun so after quickly organizing the inventory once again selling the chocolate and stuff and everything else that I didn't need I went in for yet another raid on shoreline because I still needed like 13 more scavs maybe more so yeah we quickly loaded in again on shoreline to proceed with our punisher quest so this time I spawned on the top west part of the map and went immediately for the sniper scav on the rock now my aim is bad or my sink is bad but for some reason those bullets were just not hitting after killing that scav I used my route to go again on a shoreline and once again to kill the same sniper scale we did in previous raid and just as I killed that scab and thought all was done all was over there was another scav pushing on the right now I've never seen that scav on the right push but hey it was a simple easy kill for me and again bullets missing why nobody knows after killing that scab I pushed a bit more further up top to check the yard so I killed yet another scab there and then I had to cross the river to get to the other side when I got there I started sniping and picking off the scabs on the gas station so that was the first one just roaming around the road the second one behind the station and then I found the third one on the docks so after killing those scavs on near the gas station and on the docks I started pushing along shoreline towards the exit only to find a couple of more scavs roaming on the road so out of two I killed one initially and then I pushed into that same construction area to find more scavs now was that the first scav that I didn't kill I don't know but I pushed backwards a little bit and he started pushing across the road so that was yet again easy kill easy pick off so after looting their bodies find founding some good items I went towards the extract where I found another scav which was kind of pain in the ass to kill so a lot of bullets missing there not sure is it due to accuracy of a gun or just me not shooting properly but I had to push him so I didn't want to go direct I went on the other side opposite side of the road and pushed him slowly through the woods checking where he is and eventually I did find him again sitting here pushing back to the exit so after killing him I went quickly out with his loot and loot from all the other scavs now I only needed one or two more scavs to finish the first quest in a line of Punisher so I had to organize my inventory because I was running out of space once again with all the weapons I was stashing and all the rigs so 
after quick organization of my inventory, we went in for another raid on Shoreline. So in this raid, I initially spawned top right of the map. I checked for the sniper's cap, but he was no, not there. But I did find this cap. And boy, oh boy, that was the sound I wanted. So I wanted to go ex immediately for the extract. And then in the village, of course, found two players fully geared. And like an idiot, I started full autoing the guy with, with my scope zoomed in. So of course, this AKM kicked so much that I couldn't even see where I was shooting anymore. So I tried to wait him out because I knew he wasn't alone. I heard another pair of footsteps and I knew he had a partner. So it was definitely a squad. I just wasn't sure was it only two players or three players. So I healed up. I waited here just to see if they're going to push me or no. If they're going to check if my body is there. But they did not. So they threw a couple of more nades to the location where they presumed I might be. And I started pushing backwards because I knew they were in front. So I pushed back. I wanted to flank them. And just as I came behind this corner, I started hearing footsteps again. And boy, was I lucky with that movement. If I didn't move back in that same millisecond, I would be dead. My head would popped instantly. So they were trying to push me, trying to find me. But I guess eventually in this moments, they decided to back off because they probably had their backpacks full of gear. So instead of pushing me, they went straight for the exit. I flanked around, tried to look for them, but they weren't there. So this was finally the end of the first quest. Unfortunately, I did forget to complete it immediately, but it will be completed in next episode in which we will continue pursuing our Punisher line quest and hopefully get that secure container very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and please like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification button to catch my next episode that will be coming out soon. Well, that's it for this one. Bye.